Hello? Holy, okay, 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 okay. I'm not loaded. Okay, my dude. My. I'm not loaded in any weapon. That's fun. I'm. Oh, I. <laughs> just went prone. What the hell? Get out of here, you damn zombie. I'm trying to cover an update in what you're doing. Oh my god, this zombie's gonna kill me. Holy. Back away. Okay. Back away. Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything under say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scum. Now the game just got updated. More patch. Well, it's, it's more of a patch than an update. It's not really a big one. Not a lot of new things. Uh, but a couple of cool things. Today's video is not going to be my usual type of content. Just me clucking about. It's going to be me covering the new update. It's still me a child, unfortunately, but we shall cover the update. We're gonna see what kind of things have been changed and what kind of things have been added and let's get straight into it. Now there's been added two new items, a box of nails and a box of bolts. And each of them, these two here, each of them contain about 20 pieces. I mean, not about 20 pieces, exactly 20 pieces of, uh, of bolts. And you can take out the bolts, I believe, yeah, it's just... It goes out one by one, just like the box of um, of of pins. They just go out one by one. So this is cool because nails you need them for bases and whatnot. So if you can find like a, a full-on box, that's gonna be that's gonna be great. There's also been some changes to the inventory um, and to icons. So if you go into our inventory, it's it's no longer the small little dots. It's like more big big squares or whatever those things are. Same thing in the car. Don't go in the car, you pleb. Open up the inventory. There you go. It's like big. I think this is how it was before. I cannot be sure though because I don't remember. Items can now be directly transferred from vehicles to chests or uh, vehicles. So if we go over here, oh, we gotta, we gotta drag this a little bit. Okay. So if we go do this, we can just do this. But I do believe you could do that before as well, right? I'm not, I cannot be completely sure now. Also, back in the day, I, and by back in the day, I mean yesterday, when you picked up an, like a shovel or any type of item and you wanted to scroll down whilst having the, the item grabbed, you couldn't, you had to press control to scroll down. But now it's no longer necessary. You do not have to press control in order to scroll down in your inventory. Which is, that's that's a good thing because I was always frustrated by that. And if you press control, that would, will um, will rotate the, the item. So that's good. Press control and rotate and scroll to rotate. Then if you drag it over the inventory, you can just drag it down to like whatever you have space. So that's a good thing. Also, selected items will now consistently have a red outline. So if you select something in your inventory, they, they're going to be selected like, well, there you go. They're gonna be selected. That, that's pretty cool. You know that you have something um, selected. Also, they have reworked dragging items on the ground. It should be way more permissive. So when you when you do this, you can just drag them along. Just drag them along. Like a wizard. You don't even have to touch it. You're a wizard. You just drag it along. It should be more permissive so you can do this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now this next thing, I'm not really sure how it's gonna work out, but you can um, examine and manipulate other prisoners' inventory even when their hands aren't tied. So you can look in somebody's inventory, but they have to have their surrender gesture. So they have to have their hands up, which is, I mean, I've been playing this game quite a lot and never once I've seen somebody surrender. I don't even know the button for surrendering so i don't know if that's that's gonna that's gonna be applied maybe like having fun with your friends and whatnot you're gonna make them surrender and look into their inventory but i don't know how how that's gonna play out also there's been some icon reworks um and not all of them just a couple of them they're gonna have reworks on a bunch of of um of icons so they look way more pretty uh and more proportion proportional proportional i think that's a word Icon sizes for the MP5 uh, have been changed. Let's bring an MP5 out here. 
So we have ourselves a little bit of an MP5. Let's see how big this thing is now because... Oh, oh, that's huge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently this is to prevent from um, avoiding people to carry like six of them in a big like backpack like a big hiking backpack just filled with mp5s but what's wrong with that man if you can find an mp5 and you can fit in your inventory just let me let me have as many as i want you know maybe i have a collection or something but yeah the mp5 apparently is bigger now also the nights are gonna be brighter uh they've done some changes to the lightning the lightning <laughs> the light yeah um so let's make it if you can set the time Let's make it night time. I don't even know what's night time. 12? Hey, yo, it's really dark. Um, and it's not as dark as it was before. If we go out here into the wild. It used to be way, way dark. And I, I hated it. I hated it so much. Because um, I don't like the dark. But in case you guys didn't know this. Uh, probably everybody knows. But if you go to your uh, game filters. It's kind of, I don't I don't really like to use this, but in tough situations when people are after you, you just go to brightness and you can, you can, you can do this and it's straight up daylight, but I don't really like to do it. But yeah, in case anybody wanted to know this, look, it's, it's kind of like a, it feels like cheating a little bit, but, but you know, when it's super duper dark in the woods, it, it's, it's worth it. But it's good that the game is not as dark anymore. Now light sources such as fires and car lights now cast shadows. So if we go into our car here. Apparently this... I don't know how this is supposed to work. Is it gonna have a shadow behind me? Nope. Or like I don't know what... A shadow for the fence. Let me move the car around. Okay, here we go. This sh you see the fence shadow on the house. I don't, I don't know if this was a thing before, but I guess not because it's in the update. There you go. Oh, let me just start, stop, stop the lights, stop the lights because fires now uh, shouldn't be seen through walls. Hello. Holy. Okay. 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 <gasps> I'm not loaded. Okay, my dude, my. I'm not loaded in any weapon. That's fun. I'm... Oh, I... <laughs> just went prone. What the hell? Get out of here, you damn zombie. I'm trying to cover an update in what you're doing. Oh my god. This zombie's gonna kill me. Holy. Back away. Okay. Back away. Alright, so let's see if we can get a fire up and, uh, and start it. Let me find a house like... Okay, so... We this wall here has no windows or anything, so if we light up a fire in here, it shouldn't be like seen through the wall. So if we light this up, oh look at this, oh very nice, very nice. Let me get my pistol out, because zombies, also zombies should spawn like more often or something like that. So if we take a look here, you can still, you can still see that there is a fire in there, but apparently it's supposed to be better, I guess. You can still see like the light all bit. I'm guessing they're working on it or something. But this looks pretty cool if you look from back here. Look at that. Looks like a volcano has erupted in there. So as I've said, the puppets, the zombies, they should spawn um, more often. Apparently points of interest like large towns, like this one I guess. Police stations, military bunkers uh, have a 100% chance to spawn puppets. And they have a cooldown of 30 minutes uh, between the spawns. So once you once you find a zombie, if you kill it and then leave, you come back half an hour later, they should respawn. So some 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 like that. Also, the spawning rate inside houses and stuff has been nerfed a little bit. So usually, sometimes I didn't really encounter this, but sometimes you go into a house, you kill a zombie, and then you go out, and another zombie immediately respawns. So that's not gonna be a thing anymore. You hear that, my lady? No more. And one more thing. An item has been destroyed. My god, there's a zombie going crazy back there. An item has been removed from the game and that is the sledge. The sleigh. Uh, the, one, the thing that used to go down snow hills. Uh, it is no longer in the game, unfortunately. Or happily, I don't know, it was fun to just ride, ar ride around on it. <laughs> 
Apparently people use this to get into other people's base. You can place next, next to the door and I don't know, it glitched out and you could get into somebody's place uh, real fast. And I can confirm zombies are spawning more. <laughs> Low, okay. So this, this the zombie spawning I like it because it's gonna be dangerous to go into cities and stuff. And there's been small stuff also done like um, increases the spawn rate of bow silencers, reduced damage from mines, pipe bombs and whatever explosives, increased the grenade damage and a bunch of things for like admin stuff you know for private servers and whatnot stuff that really doesn't concern me or interest me though but that's pretty much like the the bullet points the big the big things that i've kind of seen in the patch notes so yeah uh, i know this was a different type of video but um i like to do them i like to cover sh sh stuff because i'm a gamer i'm a serious gamer man okay i like to cock about very often <laughs> and act like a child but sometimes i like to do stuff like this just check out new stuff that you know games add so yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed today's little update episode. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next one with some more video games. Thank you for hanging out and later.